This road sign means A. When pavement is wet, reduce your speed. B. The road ahead winds in a series of turns or curves. C. Traffic increases ahead. A. When pavement is wet, reduce your speed. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. This sign warns drivers that the roadway will be slippery when wet and they should reduce their speed accordingly. If you parallel park facing downward on a hill? A. Turn your wheels sharply toward the side of the road. B. Turn your wheels away from the side of the road. C. Keep your wheels straight. A. Turn your wheels sharply toward the side of the road. When parking downhill, turn your front wheels toward the curb or edge of the road. When parking uphill on a road without a curb, turn your wheels toward the edge of the road. When parking uphill on a road with a curb, you must turn your front wheels away from the curb. This sign means A. Pedestrians walking along the road ahead. B. Pedestrian crossing ahead. C. Pedestrians must not cross here. D. Be alert for construction workers on the road. B. Pedestrian crossing ahead. This sign indicates the presence of a pedestrian crossing. Drivers should be cautious when driving where pedestrians may be present. On long trips, you can prevent drowsiness by A. Turning on your car radio. B. Slowing down. C. Stopping at regular intervals for a rest. D. Moving your eyes from side to side as you drive. C. Stopping at regular intervals for a rest. To prevent drowsiness on long trips, you should schedule regular stops. Give yourself time to rest and stretch, even if you are not feeling tired. Want to ace you DMV test? Go to CheatSheets.com and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. Using a cell phone while operating a motor vehicle is considered a distraction because A. It causes the driver to be concerned about the cost of the call. B. It occupies the driver's hands, eyes, and mind. C. It is an activity that draws the attention of other drivers. B. It occupies the driver's hands, eyes, and mind. Using a cell phone while driving is dangerous because it occupies the user's eyes, hands, and mind. Even the most skilled drivers increase their risk of being involved in a crash by using a cell phone on the road. If an emergency vehicle with flashing lights is traveling in the area where you are driving, you should A. Speed up to avoid the emergency vehicle. B. Stop your vehicle immediately and prevent them from passing. C. Make every effort to give the emergency vehicle a clear path of travel. D. Signal to the emergency vehicle when it is clear for them to pass you. C. Make every effort to give the emergency vehicle a clear path of travel. If an emergency vehicle with flashing lights is traveling in the area where you are driving, you must make every effort to give them a clear path of travel. If it is safe to do so, pull your vehicle to the side of the road to give the emergency vehicle an open pathway. If two drivers arrive at the same time to an open intersection? A. The driver on the right has the right of way. B. The driver on the left has the right of way. C. One driver may continue driving without stopping. D. One driver should honk to indicate that they are giving up the right of way. A. The driver on the right has the right of way. If you arrive to an open intersection at the same time as a vehicle to your right, you should yield the right of way to that vehicle. You may then proceed when it is safe to do so. A 
Assign what this shape means. A. Railroad crossing. B. Warning. C. Signal ahead. B. Warning. A diamond-shaped yellow sign warns of possible danger ahead. Orange signs, which are mostly diamond-shaped, are used to warn of possible dangers in or near work areas. A broken yellow line beside a solid yellow line indicates that passing is A. Permitted from the side next to the solid yellow line. B. Not permitted from either direction. C. Permitted from the side next to the broken yellow line. C. Permitted from the side next to the broken yellow line. When the center of the road is marked by a solid yellow line beside a broken yellow line, passing is permitted from the side next to the broken line and prohibited from the side next to the solid line. When stopping on snow or ice, drivers who are operating vehicles equipped with an anti-lock braking system ABS should A. Pump the brakes. B. Press and hold the brake pedal firmly. C. Stay off the brakes and wait for the car to drift to a stop. B. Press and hold the brake pedal firmly. When driving a vehicle equipped with an anti-lock braking system ABS, a driver should press the brake pedal firmly when stopping on a snowy or icy surface. The ABS will pump the brakes more rapidly than a driver would be able to. Night driving presents unique problems because A. The speed limit is increased at night. B. There are fewer cars on the roads at night. C. Distance and vehicle speed are difficult to judge in the dark. C. Distance and vehicle speed are difficult to judge in the dark. Night driving creates a unique set of problems for drivers. Due to the reduced visibility, it can be difficult to judge distance and the traveling speeds of other vehicles when driving at night. Drivers can see only as far as their headlights allow. Highway markings? A. Are usually not important. B. Are only found in construction zones. C. Provide information for drivers. D. Are usually red and blue in color. This yellow sign means A. There is a sharp turn to the right. B. The lane must turn right. C. A right turn is permitted on a green arrow only. A. There is a sharp turn to the right. Some warning signs have a fluorescent yellow-green background. These signs warn of upcoming conditions, including roads with curves and sharp turns. A diamond-shaped sign is a A. Road hazard sign. B. Interstate route sign. C. School crossing sign. D. Speed limit sign. A. Road hazard sign. Warning signs are normally diamond-shaped and yellow, although orange warning signs are used in work areas. Such signs warn that you are approaching a hazardous location or an area where special rules apply. If a motorist sees pedestrians in an upcoming crosswalk, what should the motorist do? A. Continue ahead. The motorist has the right of way. B. Wait for the pedestrians to cross the street. C. Pull to the right and go around the pedestrians. B. Wait for the pedestrians to cross the street. A driver must yield the right of way to a pedestrian within a crosswalk. The driver should wait until the intersection is clear to proceed. This sign means A. Trucks under 18,000 pounds. Allowed. B. Hill ahead. C. Truck stop ahead. D. No trucks allowed. B. Hill ahead. This sign warns that there is a steep hill ahead.
Changing from one lane to another is best done. A. Quickly and often. B. When a car is in your blind spot. C. Gradually and carefully. C. Gradually and carefully. You should always change lanes gradually and carefully. Only change lanes when necessary. Every lane change increases the possibility of a traffic accident. Where is it safe to pass another vehicle? A. Within an intersection where there are no oncoming vehicles. B. Wherever signs and or pavement markings permit passing. C. Within a curve where there are no oncoming vehicles. B. Wherever signs and or pavement markings permit passing. Never pass within intersections or at other intersecting points, such as parking lot entrances and alleyways. Anytime your view is blocked by a curve or a hill, you should stay in your lane and assume that there is an oncoming vehicle just out of sight. Wherever signs and or pavement markings permit passing other vehicles, you will have to determine whether or not you have enough space to pass in a safe manner. If you come to a railroad crossing with lowered gates and flashing warning lights, you should A. Drive around the crossing gates if you can't see a train. B. Come to a complete stop well behind the gates, wait for the tracks to clear, and proceed once the gates are lifted. C. Slow down and drive around the gates. B. Come to a complete stop well behind the gates, wait for the tracks to clear, and proceed once the gates are lifted. You must stop at a railroad crossing where signs, warning devices, or flaggers warn you of the presence of a train. It is illegal to drive around lowered gates. This sign means A. Divided highway B. Railroad warning C. No passing zone A. Divided highway This sign indicates that a divided highway begins ahead. This sign means A. No left turn can be made here. B. A left turn can be made only after stopping. C. All traffic must turn right at the next intersection. A. No left turn can be made here. Signs with a red circle and diagonal line over a black symbol indicate that the action represented by the symbol is prohibited. In this case, the sign indicates that left turns are prohibited. When driving in fog, you should use your low beam headlights? A. True. B. False. A. True. You should always use your low beam headlights when driving in fog. High beam headlights may cause the light to reflect off of the fog and into your eyes. If you need to stop quickly and your vehicle is not equipped with an anti-lock braking system ABS, you should A. Hold down the brake pedal. B. Firmly pump your brakes. C. Lightly tap the brakes. D. Release the brake pedal. B. Firmly pump your brakes. Pumping the brakes is generally the best way to stop a car in an emergency. The car will stop quickly and you will also be able to continue steering. Pennant-shaped signs indicate A. School zones B. No passing zones C. Speed limits D. Railroad crossings If another driver cuts you off in traffic, you should A. Pull next to the driver and yell at them. B. Let it go. C. Flash your high beams at the driver. D. Get back at the other driver by cutting them off. B. Let it go. To avoid the dangers of road rage, you should never take it personally if another driver cuts you off in traffic. Just let it go and continue driving safely.